Hey, hey, this is the Chevelle you've been waiting for. This is a genuine code 138, which means it's a real super sport. Factory marina blue with blue interior. Number match 396, number match four speed. It's original coded and dated rear end. Uh, the tag says it was born with the four speed. Obviously, it's numbers matching. Born with a console and bucket seats. And you know, it's got a couple nice upgrades, real nice upgrades. They've neatly installed an air conditioning system. They've upgraded it with disc brakes in the front, rally wheels, and a retro stereo. This is a really nice car. Not to mention it has the knee knocker tack with the factory gauges in the dash. It has body off frame restored. Go to volocars.com. That's where you find the price tag on every car we have for sale, along with a monthly finance payment that you can afford. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. All right, so it's the SS, so it has the 66 scoops on the hood. The hood's looking really nice. It's straight. It fits nice. All clean body. We're checking out the metal right now. All looks real nice. Gap's a little big right here. Oops, I forgot to wipe it off. Some puddles outside. But all this is straight. This gap's real nice, smooth along the bottom, no rust or damage, no bubbles, all real good. There's a seam right here from the factory. I don't know if they're using lead or what kind of filler they use, but there is an area here where it's got a little bumpy texture, kind of a common area for that. But the body is looking great. Trunk lid, rear deck panel, the outer caps, all looking good. Lining up nice and straight, all clean, nice, smooth, no rust, no damage. Jam was painted real shiny, all nice and clean. Yeah, just these front gaps are a little bit, a little bit fatter than they should be. Other than that, the body looks excellent. Marina blue, no vinyl top. Uh, overall, it's a very nice paint job. Uh, it has a little bit of texture, kind of like your new car would, just a little texture where some of them are polished like glass. So if you look for imperfections, you'll find some. It's not cracking or, like I said, not rusted, but they didn't wet sand and buff in here. They got a little lazy. There's a little more texture, a little bit of dust in the paint. Um, so, yeah, a little minor imperfections if you go looking for them, but the car presents itself beautifully. Windshield looks crystal clear. Yeah, there's some, like something was in the paint when they painted it, some little dust or something like that. Uh, the trim looks like it could be original, and they kind of dented it up when they put the top piece on. It has a little surface abrasion, so it's not brand new like chrome, but I'm going to say it's good. It's very, it's fine. Original chrome, also good, not pitted. Bowtie mirror, that's probably been replaced. Door handles replaced. As the rear mount antenna, this is also on the tag. It says it's a rear mount antenna. Uh, this trim also good. It's, it's straight. Has a nice shine to it. Back here, the bumper looks new. All the trim looks new. It's sparkling real nice. Super Sport emblems are sparkling. They look like Corvette rally wheels. They're 15 by 8 inches wide. The trim looks new and shiny. You got some nice BF Goodrich tires. This handle looks new. Bow tie mirror looks real nice. All that looks real nice. Uh, the cross flag emblems. That's a cool emblem. Uh, that looks new. The little hood ornament looks new. Bumper looks new. All the trim up here is real nice. So real nice car. Uh, on the exterior, why don't we see how the interior measures up. I'm going to show you a nice trunk compartment. It does come with some extras that you should appreciate. So underneath the trunk lid is painted real nice, marina blue. So is the jam. It's painted up nice. has a new weather strip. Inside is all rock solid metal with a gray spatter finish done real neatly. Uh, we have the complete uh, jack and spare assembly. We've got a trunk mat. And then we have some original parts. You'll see in a minute, they've upgraded some things under the hood. Here's the originals that will go with it. So when I say clean and complete, yeah, it's complete and then some. 
We have a buy it now button on our website. If you see something you really like, you click the button, just get it locked in while you're talking to the salesman. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Jams are painted nice, weather strips are replaced, sill plates look new. Door panels look like new, uh, so are the armrests. The window cranks and handles look to be good original. So the dash pad has been replaced, has a couple wrinkles on the bottom right here. And all overall, the trim's real nice. It has the in-dash gauges instead of uh, dummy lights. And this right here is the knee knocker tack. You can kind of figure out why it's called that. That's where the factory put them. The AC vents were neatly installed as a retro stereo right in the factory location, even as a Chevy bow tie. All real nice. More AC vents neatly installed. You still have a glove box, although it's a lot smaller because the air unit's up underneath there. Kick panels look nice. Blue carpet looks real nice. Got Chevelle mats. Factory center console with the reverse lockout shifter. Has a clock that's right twice a day. Does have original set of blue seat belts front and back that was still optional in 66. Cushions are nice and firm. The upholstery looks real good. Same thing in back. Nice carpet and mats. Nice upholstery. Good original seat belts. Side panels are new. Headliner looks real good. Dome light works. Visors match. They were replaced. The mirror looks like it was replaced. Steering wheel been repainted. Does have a scratch right here. Uh, probably a new horn ring. So yeah, nice looking interior. Overall, the car is very good. It's not a perfect car. It's very good everywhere I look. It really has the options going for it. Options, colors, numbers match, real SS. So the motor is a 396 motor. It's got a hotter cam in there now. It is VIN number matched to the car. It has an aluminum intake on there. Remember the original's in the trunk for the dual feed Holly carb, a bigger carb. Uh, billet flamethrower distributor in the back. And then this can canister is a vacuum storage because the camshaft that's in there is a little hotter. It doesn't produce enough vacuum, so you have some extra vacuum being reserved for you. Valve covers look new. The air cleaner looks like it could be original. Air conditioning was added. It's a new modern uh, heat and AC system. Uh, looks like a new radiator with a custom shroud with dual electric fans. We have power steering with the remote Reservoir, that's correct. Squirters are hooked up. Now the brakes were upgraded in 66. It would be a single reservoir. Now you got dual front and back, much safer. New uh, power brake booster. And that is upgraded the disc, which we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, it has some hood insulations painted up. So just like the rest of the car in here, it is very nice, not perfect, but it's very good, proper. And then the tag on the firewall gives a lot of information. This car was built in Atlanta. Tells us the colors. The bottom row gives us some of the options.
so the body was off the frame for restoration. The floors are all nice, clean metal, painted marina blue. All the frames prepped and painted. All the steering and suspension was completely apart. It was rebuilt as it was put back together. Uh, upgraded with the disc brakes in front. They were all drum in 66. This has been upgraded. E-brake is hooked up. Brake lines are replaced. Fuel tank, fuel lines, those were replaced. Is a nice sounding dual exhaust with Flowmaster mufflers. Uh, look up at the motor, it's clean Chevy orange. Has the VIN number matching correct uh, Muncie four speed transmission going back to its original rear end. The date on the rear end is 616, my son's birthday, uh, which matches up to the date of the car. I think it's 331 gears. Uh, so yeah, overall, this car has checks all the boxes. It's really a nice car. Um, go to volocars.com. If you have questions, ask the salesman. They'll help you out, including how to get this delivered to your door and help you get it financed. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so you're notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.